So hi, I'm Paul Foster. I'm the head chef here at Mallory Court. And today I'm going to show you a dish that we've currently got on the menu, which is uh, roasted monkfish with a refined smoked eel brandard, braised seaweed and some lovely sea vegetables. So the seaweed, this is kombu seaweed, or kalp as it's known in this country. Um, I've just braised this in, in some water for about nine hours till it's really soft and you lose all that gelatinous stickiness to it as well. So I'm going to cut it into nice strips. When it's cold it's quite firm but as I warm it back through its own stock it's going to soften back up. So the runner beans which are banging season now, these are from our garden. I'm going to cut them into nice, nice even slices. Now I've got the smoked eel. Now this is one fillet of the smoked eel that we've just taken off the bone. And uh, what it's got, it's got some bones going just through the inside. So I'm going to cut it into small chunks. You'll feel if there are any bones in there. The bones are very, very delicate. They're not like normal fish bones. So if there are any in there, you don't really notice them and they're not going to get stuck in your throat. But I'd just like to take them out for refinement. A brandard is a classic um, Mediterranean dish that's normally made with like, heavily salted cod, uh, potatoes, lemon, olive oil, and it's quite a rustic dish. But what I've done to refine this is I've used a really, really smooth mashed potato. It's just a normal mashed potato. And once you, once you mash it and put it through a fine sieve, um, we had 50% butter, so it's really, really unhealthy, uh, but really, really tasty. And also to get that flavor in there, what I've done to, to utilize the eel and get the most flavor out of it, we've taken all the bones and the skin of the eel, dehydrated it, uh, just in a very, very low oven overnight, about 40, 50 degrees, and then just added it to some milk with some seaweed to make like a, a stock of the, um, of the smoked eel. So the monkfish, uh, take it off the bone and I cover it in salt, depending on size, eight to 10 minutes. And what that does, it draws out moisture, seasons it and firms it up. Okay, so the first thing to do is cook the monkfish. Uh, best, best way to do it is get a really good quality non-stick pan. So start with a little bit of oil. You want to use um, a bland oil, so sunflower oil, something like that. So fish, lay it in away from you. Tiny amount of butter. And you just got to control that heat. It's going to turn it over a few times, so it's roughly eight to 10 minutes in the pan, but it's going to cook very evenly. I'm just going to get the uh, the runner beans on. So the runner beans just into a little bit of water and the seaweed stock, which the kombu seaweed was cooked in. And then also the, the mashed potato for the brandard. Gonna add a little bit of the olive oil. Then the smoked eel stock. Then straight in with the lemon rind. Any recipe like this calls for lemon zest. It's really, really important you zest it into the, the ingredients or the pan that you're using. I'd never ever do it into a little pot and then put that zest into it. Because what happens when you zest with one of these microplanes, all the essential oils spray out and that's where the flavor is and you want to capture that in the pan. Okay, so now the uh, runner beans are nearly ready. I'm going to add the seaweed. So the monkfish is about ready now, it's got a beautiful even colour, loads of flavour. I'm just going to put it on the tray and let it rest. It's a very, very meaty fish, so it's important that you let it rest. The brandard is it's just nice and wet now because we've got that stock in there. I'm going to add the smoked eel into the brandard and just stir that in. Don't want to give that too much heat because it's going to overcook the eel and make it a little bit grainy. So just to warm it through and get more flavour into that brandard. And now we've got the uh, forage sea vegetables just straight into some boiling water. So sea vegetables only take about 30 seconds to cook. Now these are all foraged along the Kent coastline. Really interesting flavours and textures and adds another layer of seasoning to the dish as well. So now we're ready to assemble the dish. And now I'm going to carve the monkfish. So nice sharp knives straight through. So perfectly cooked fish like monkfish should be kind of medium to medium rare like a, like a steak. Um, 
And when you carve it, you should get this almost translucent rainbow sort of effect through the middle. So lovely beans and braised seaweed. So we've got sea uh, aster here, uh, sea cabbage, sea beet, uh, rock samphire, and there's also some sea campion as well. So that's it finished. That's the roasted monkfish with smoked eel brandard, uh, braised seaweed and uh, beans from our lovely garden. The lovely smoky flavours in there. Real nice taste of the sea and for me, tastes exactly like a fish dish should do.